Permaculture is the design science, integrating natural resources and human design. We talk about sustainability. Our acceptance and understanding of that is going to bring significance to how we interact with our life and the design within that system. Permaculture is great because all it is is the synthesis of ecology, indigenous wisdom, and appropriate technologies. And the pattern of how you put it all together is your creativity. Hey. <laughs> what we're most interested in with regenerative design processes is the energy audit of the system and creating systems and mechanisms that produce more energy than they consume over their lifetime or longevity. So permaculture often is related to agriculture and just basic processes in the provision of human needs. There's food generation, there's energy systems, there's architecture, and then there's all the waste processes that are the circle. It's kind of the, uh, the catalyst that pulls the entire process together. All we need to do is really fasten it from the top. It's not going to go anywhere. Drill it through somewhere here. Keep going. Okay, you through. And permaculture starts with an ethic. It's a care of this planet and everything within it. And then it's the redistribution of surplus, or the fair share. How do we get people to understand that we live on a finite planet with finite resources? Getting people involved is a challenging concept because we've moved so far from a cooperative culture. You know, there's a very competitive approach to how humans have evolved on this planet. And so we're fighting for natural resources, we're fighting for love, we're fighting for war, we're fighting for all these things. How do we get people involved as a mechanism for change? I think through education, education only. Education as a starting point, at least for gathering basic processes like we starting with an ethic, gathering the, this connection to decision making processes. This pattern we're going to see over and over and over and over and over and over and over. There's a sunken bed. So there's no wind erosion and you're catching all the water and sediment minimizing evaporation as well. Here is where we stand in the planet. The U.S. is doing 21% of the damage. With what percentage of the population? Five. percent, okay. And then an education towards principles of ecology or principles in permaculture. So prevailing westerlies are always flowing to the east, but it depends, of course. This point okay. here is a little bit uphill from this. Are we going to have a hill somewhere for water catching it? The place on the landscape with the highest water capturing energy efficient potential is the key point and the key point highest up on your landscape. And education is not only the sharing of information but it's the sharing of the spirit and our goal as educators is always how do we passively educate through inspiration, through example. Right? Example is the only real positive process in education and change. I like how creative it is and how diverse it is and how many um, different and amazing people come here and they all have something to teach and I'm mostly fallen in love with how much I learn. I'm happy because yeah. of the place and the people. We're really just talking about taking decision-making processes into our hands and into the future generations of the people and the planet. Because I want to show people that you can produce food somewhat within a conventional format in a very sustainable basis. You guys play around with this a little bit. What I envision is prosperity and health, resources catapulting into productivity, ecosystems being repaired. That's the envision of an ecological process with humans as the mechanism for regeneration. What is the possibility is the opposite, and that's what we're witnessing currently now with system collapse and this whole concept in climate change. All different walks of life are drawn to permaculture for one reason or another, and that's an exciting thing, is they can come here, they can pursue that knowledge, and then synthesize it into a field that they may already have experience in. That's really inspiring. I think we can use a lot more of that. So you have to cut the leaves off so it doesn't evaporate all of its energy. You're going to harvest that one in like three weeks. 